big, I think. Secure is, you know, the Super Smash Bros. Melee Tutorials guy. The guy's been making those videos. Just released a new video on um, taking, uh, taking lasers, taking shots, something like that. But taking Falco lasers and reacting out of taking the shot, taking the hit stun, and then doing something. Not power shielding, not caving, not reflecting. Just taking it and doing an action. And it's actually pretty insightful, you know. Uh, someone else did tell me that a while ago. I forgot his name. But I didn't really think much of it at the time until it was explained to me the way it was in the video, you know. So definitely give that a, a watch. Make sure to follow, subscribe, like. He puts uh, a lot of really good work for the community, you know. Hosts his own tournament series in SoCal Coliseum. There's going to be one this week in Pasadena. If you're in the area, you should definitely head down. If you're not in the area, you should head down anyway, you know. I'm going to make an hour and a half long drive. Hopefully take... Hopefully convince Alex to come with me. <laughs> so I think Joey's going to, like, Florida or something. I don't know. Full bloom's happening, I think. Anyway, start of the match. Kira takes first stock. Man, Spacey's. I have not seen a Spacey's match on stage yet. Either that or I've, maybe there has been, but I just haven't been paying attention. Okay, goes to the grab. It's an up smash. Regrab? No, he dash dance back. He probably anticipated, like, a shine or something. Get up shine. Get up shine. It's broken, dude. It's more broken and stupid than get up shore you from Street Fighter 4. Oh man, I would always get up shore you. I'm such a scrub, my god. Oh, kicked in the mouth. He's off stage. Fox recovery. Oh, he gets lasered. Nah, he's safe, man. Fox goes too far. That was a flub. Alright, 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 good. Nice mix up. Goes down really low. He gets red that time, though. All right, Kira's up two stocks. And being up two stocks in the Spacey's match is kind of a big deal and also kind of not a big deal. For the same reasons, it is a big deal. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Danced on him. He's out. Firefox, for some reason. Just wanted to feel the heat, you know? Just wanted to put a little pressure on himself. Be like, hey, you know what? I'm on fire. Kira is in fire right now, to quote some European guy. <sighs> Boom. That was a cool up smash. Looks like it was... It didn't, it didn't go very far. Weird. Mm, flubbed and dead. Alright, cool. You can't mess up like that. Not against like somebody like Squid is just going to punish you for it, you know? Alright, up throw. Regrab. Up air, he's dead. That was dope, though. That was a good re-grab off uh, like platforms. I didn't even practice that. I cannot do it. Well, I, maybe I can't. Oh, well, I haven't practiced it, and I can, should definitely do it like way more often. All right, it's a laser battle at the moment. It's going for shields. It's good trying to rack up percent, trying to like get a lead before it's too late. Uh, misses a laser. Misses a ledge guard. That was a point pick laser on stage. Gets a sick forward smash though. Uh, all right, yeah. Dances on him and he's dead. Okay. So, this last stock, Kira had a really good advantage, like, in the beginning of this match, but for some reason, it just, like, dissipated somewhere along the way. We lost it. But, you know, he's winning the percent war. He seems to be in a better position. Seems to be. But Squid just took, like, three consistent stocks, so he's definitely got the moment momentum advantage. Oh, it takes us one grab, one punish, just kind of filling each other out. He's taking a lot of lasers, though. He was shielding a bunch of them earlier, just kind of trying to tank through them. Probably he's feeling a little more anxious than he was before. Oh, kick in the face. All right, he's off stage. Nair's back on. Okay. Goes for a jab grab. Didn't go, didn't quite work. Power shield the laser. Just dancing right now. Just dancing. Shine back here. Mm, nope. We live. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh. Wow. That was cool. There needs to be more like spikes. There's not enough moves to send you like just to your death, you know? There's like two really good ones. Aside from that, we need more. Definitely. Like Falcons. Or even Samus's. I don't care. Hell. If they had more cool stuff like that, they wouldn't be as lame characters and people would play them more in more fun ways, wouldn't they? Maybe? I don't know. There was an argument that I heard the other day. Well, it was not an argument, but just like a theory I had, I guess, that, um, a few theories. One, it was kind of weird, but the characters designed in this game, they, props to Nintendo, they did one thing right. They feel 
like how they should feel, you know. Mario feels like how Mario does in his game, you know. He has the same jump arc, he has the same like jump like speed. Like you jump in Mario, you jump in melee Mario, and it feels like almost the same, you know. And that goes for a lot of the characters in the game, usually, you know. Usually. But then you get characters like Fox, Roy, um ba -ba 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 Ganondorf, uh, Link, who don't necessarily have like a lot of 2D reactions, or if they have any at all, you know. Uh, Captain Falcon, those characters had to be built from the ground up with ideas, sort of, you know, give them, you know, give the space guy the blaster, give the, the race for the, the crazy speed, but those characters that were built from the ground up just so happen to be, like, the best characters in this game, you know, Peach, uh, Sheik, Marth, Fox, those characters did not have, like, oh, they, they weren't constrained by, oh, he has to jump in a certain way, he has to feel like this, I mean, to a degree, yes, because Fox, um, he was a spacey. He's from space. They wanted to make him like quick, so they gotta make him fall like super fast. Gravity, you know, it's all about gravity. But for the most part, they had a lot more free reign than they did when designing a character like Kirby and Mario and Luigi and Bowser, you know. So that could be uh, that could be a reason for the balance in this game. Well, not the balance, but the way the characters are. The reason why the characters are the way they are, you know. Okay, another. Th well, I don't know. I want to keep talking about it? Ah, oh, fuck it. Why not? Um. Another thing I heard is, uh, or that I was thinking about, uh, a lot of people say, I was talking to, um, Koopa Troopa, uh, Alex, and he was telling me that he wouldn't want, like, certain characters to be good, because if you think about it, like, how, how annoying would it be to fight, like, Ness and DK if they were actually, like, broken, you know? Or maybe not broken, but just, like, if they were good. But I was thinking that to myself, and I thought, you know, the stupid things that Ness can do are annoying, yeah, you know? But the issue, I think, is that... Their, their, their one good strength is too good and their weaknesses are too bad. Like, it's not... Like, I don't think you should just buff, like, all of their stuff. Like, maybe take away, like, their bro... The, the, the one broken... Not... Basically, make it so that way they have, like, no gimmick. And also give them, like, uh, you know, stronger regular stuff. Stronger, less weaknesses. So less weaknesses and less of one super good thing, you know? Like, maybe... Well, a good example would be like Bowser's uh, up B at a shield, you know? That kills floaties at like 100. It's ridiculous. Sometimes 90. I think it kills Puff at like 50 or 40. It's really good. But, you know, you, you, that's probably not the best game balance there is. And even if you make, if you, if you just like keep that and make everything else Bowser has good, I think people are still going to rely too much on like that one gimmick, you know? So just kind of nerf the too strong and buff the too weak of weak characters. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe somebody knows what I'm talking about. I sure as hell don't. I'm not a game developer. I'm an artist. And a crummy one at that. Alright, goes to the... Alright, we're back. I missed the whole entire set talking about nonsense. Good. Looks like Squid and Kira are now tied. Grand, uh, losers finals, not grand finals. My bad. Uh, goes for a dope down air, and it works. Sort of. Takes the stock anyway. Falcons at 40%. And Prime chain grabbing percent. But I haven't seen Kira go for a single chain grab, even though it looks like he brought him here, so... It's hard talking by yourself, man. You gotta be active all the time. Damn. I have so much more respect for everybody now. Implying I didn't before, but hey, you know. Okay. Wish I could look at chat, though. <laughs> Wish I could talk to you guys. <laughs> man. They really gotta fix the Wi Fi here. I don't know why it's crap. It's a freaking stupid, like, gaming arena. The Wi Fi should be phenomenal, but it's not. It's gutter trash. Alright. Squid's taking a pretty good lead. Looks like he's going to take his third stock. Oh, nope. Makes it back. Nah. Doesn't even bother that time. Squid's about a four stock. Kira. Makes it back. Or he doesn't. My bad. Gets kicked off stage. Yeah, looks like Squid's probably going to take this. Unless Kira pulls some uh, crazy stuff out of his butt. But, hey, you know, there's a chain grab. There we go. There we go. That's how it starts. Be lame. Lameness. Let the lameness flow through you. Mmm. Yes, given to the power of the dark side. Let the chain grabbing flow through you. I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, Kira did not take that game. He did not let the lameness um, consume him. He'll never join the lame side. Never. Now we're just hanging out in the back, having a grand old time. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here diddling myself. Oh boy. Oh, 
Do you want to see Logan? That was a dope movie. Well, I mean, it has flaws, but I don't know, I'm not going to talk about it here. I don't want to spoil it to anybody, and also it has absolutely nothing to do with what's going on on the screen right now. So, oh, wait, Kira's being a lamer. He's letting the dark side take over. Oh, it's consuming him. Uh, absolute power. Oh, my God. Unlimited power. God, I love Star Wars. <laughs> don't worry, Anakin. We'll save Padme. Except not really, because you're going to kill her because the sequels are stupid. But hey, you know, you got to give, you got to do something. All right, even stock, basically. Fox is a worst percent, but hey, that's with spaces. Anything can happen. One grab, up smash, shine, punch to the, just jab them. <laughs> that was sexy. Way to go, Kira. Always left some good melee. It was over, you know. He had the high ground. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Ugh. Then he gets cut in half and like loses his legs. And... Spoiler, he gets burned alive. Doesn't die, but he loses like every single part of his body. Oof. Not a good scene to watch if you're squeamish. Chain grabs, chain grabs, lameness, lameness. Ooh, back, kill, throw, hit, foot, move. I can't talk, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. I'm very tired. Spacey's on FD. I love this. I love. I don't know. No, everyone seems to like have like issues with FD. My favorite stage, of course, I play Doc. So, you know. But I feel like you know, it's action, dude. It's all action. Like, can you imagine like a cool a stage that's like FD but smaller, like a small FD? You couldn't run. You couldn't do anything. You just have to fight. That'd be dope. Oh. That's just my, you know, stupid opinion of the day. Kira just takes... Yeah, that's it. Hold ledge. It's over. All right. This is a pretty close set. Kira just took a game, tied it up. Look at him. They're both contemplating, like, their existence right now. Why did I start playing Melee? The game's so hard. Oh, well, bad. I really knew I should have stayed in school. <laughs> that's it. I'm pretty sure they both could like, UCI. On Yoshi's last game. <sighs> Gotta wake up for this one. It'd be dope if I got paid for this. That would be super dope. But I get nothing, so. <laughs> okay, goes for the forward smash. Just gets grabbed. It doesn't really go into anything, though. I expect him like a short hop back here, but not really. Alright, just they're kind of just letting each other. Alright, nope, never mind. I ate my words. I don't know anything about this game. Kira's down to stock. It looks like Squid's adding up way too much percent for this to be, like, good. All right. Oh, no. It goes for another shine. I guess he's too low of percent to go for a down air. Get up attacks. Scrab. Shine. Misses. All right. Kira needs, like, Kira needs, like, some kind of momentum push right now. Otherwise, he's going to get, like, knocked back out, you know? And that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. He had it there for a second, but that, like, nair was weird, you know? You got to be a little more read savvy than that. Kira's not looking so hot, but you know, I've seen crazier comebacks. I want to see this happen. Kira's a cool guy. Personally, uh. <laughs> right in the face. That was dope. Yeah, like, as I was saying, I think Kira's like uh, probably out of these two, my favorite player. Out of these two, out of these two, out of these two. I like Kira more, but you know, that's. I have there's I have no like logical standing behind that you know so go feel free to argue with me I won't listen but you know feel free to argue I'm just feeling each other out Kira's trying to like find a way to get back into this game but he's down that stock and it's like haunting him too he's getting way too much percent to like try to make a decent comeback and he's flubbing stuff too you can really tell that uh, allegedly he's got some, he's allegedly he has some kind of finger problem going on and it's definitely like showing he's been missing a lot of like inputs a lot of like ledge dashes a lot of just Fox stuff, you know? And when you play Fox, you can't. Your, your hands to be in, like, prime condition. Otherwise, you're going to just kill yourself over and over and over again. Same with Falco, too. Probably. 
Okay. I'm surprised uh, Squid hasn't actually gone for anything either. I guess they're both kind of like afraid. I'm not afraid, but just kind of feeling each other, I guess. Alright, go for the grab. Okay, come on. <sighs> just gets illusion, and he's dead. This is Kira's last stock, and also potentially the last stock of the tournament for him. He wants that pop bonus. I know he does. 150 bucks is a lot, man. It's a lot. It's like you can pay for Korean barbecue for like five, twenty, five, two, three, for like eight people. <laughs> That's a lot of Korean barbecue. That's a lot of unlimited meat. Okay, let's bring it back step by step. Come on, give me one up there. This is the grab, dude. He's definitely not playing at his best, you know. But just like that takes one more stock. Can you take two more at the magic percent? I don't think so. But, hey, let's hope. Oh, nice. That was a weird drill, but it worked, so I'm down with it. Go to the back here. Come on, just feel him out. Just take it slow. A few steps at a time. Just get a few hits in. Get him to a high percent. Knock him off stage. Shine him. It's over, you know? Oh, buddy. That was some that was a bad year on that back here. Makes it back, but he's not in a good position. 100% is not where you want to be. A Randy anything is going to kill, and there it is. Squid takes it. Kira is out at third place, I think. That should be, I think so. Walks away solemnly. You know, it happens. You lose some, you win some, you know. No, I don't know if I would be too upset losing like a really small tournament like this. But hey, you know, you want money. You come, you don't want to waste your time. So, it's whatever. Everyone's different. Some people get really upset. Kira's not. But I'm saying like, you know, I'm just saying it happens. You know, you never know. Everybody's different. And you should respect people for how they are.